one of my videos uh, has a playback error and a friend left a message on my YouTube channel asking me can I re-upload it and but unfortunately I lost my original file on my computer and which is very very annoying uh, the computer stuff they're never ever reliable and I'm not good at it so tonight I'm doing a new one steam the chicken usually a uh, steam the chicken is a winter recipe um, it helps you fight common cold and the flu in the winter but I personally I eat them through the whole year because they are very delicious and I love them and um, so in in the summertime and um, I tend to eat and uh, the steamed chicken when it's cold I will cool them down in the fridge and I will put less ginger and the spring onions in so um, but it's still very very delicious very tasty um, the cooking method is just the same. All right, okay, then let's just get on with it. All right, okay. Okay, um, one medium-sized uh, chicken, and you can get a large one as if as you if you wish, and uh, wash them inside out stirring. And my chicken, have, um, I skinned it because it's I think it's far more healthier. It's got lots of fat in the skin, so I skinned it. It doesn't look um, as nice as it with the skin on, but never mind. It's a family recipe and it's not show business. So I go for the healthier way. Right, okay, one medium size chicken and with uh, two or three spring onions. Just stuff them inside the chicken with a few slices of ginger. Just stuff them inside the chicken and put in a big bowl, sit in a very big saucepan. And then we're gonna steam them for about um, in 40 minutes to an hour. Right, we, we boil the water in the pan, because it's got water underneath there. Boil them and then we turn the heat down and put the lid on the Put the lid, lid on and uh, just steam the chicken for about 14 minutes to an hour until the chickens are tender. Right, the chicken, steam the chicken is done. Um, in my in older video, I cut the chicken into pieces. And um, here, I'm going to try and a different way to get the chicken meat out, which is I'm going to use the knife, sharp knife and the fork and just cut the meat and out and pour it into a different plate. All right, okay, let me show you how to do this. All right, okay, we get a sharp knife cut in the middle and you actually can easily get the chicken meat out when it's proper done here i just want to get the whole piece of the chicken breast out put in a plate and then dry okay and this side sometimes i use the chopstick because I found it easy to use my chopstick. If you uh, don't know how to use chopstick, you just simply use knife and the fork and get all the meat out. It's very easy to get the meat out here. All right, here is all the chicken meat I got from the whole chicken. Right, okay, so next stage we're gonna make some juice and pour over it. And the meanwhile, let the chicken cool down a bit. If you wanna stick in the fridge, it will cool down faster, but I'm just gonna leave it. And remember, never ever leave cooked the meat um, in the room temperature over an hour because um, the bacteria will grow very fast. Okay, and we need to some reserve some juice from the steamed chicken, which is I'm going to do here. This juice is very, very... And to make the juice, we need the reserved um, chicken juice here. 
and uh, we need uh, about one teaspoon of the ginger minced and in the winter i probably will double the quantity but in the summer that's enough and about three to four um spring onions green parts if you like the white parts you can include it but i'm just gonna use the green parts here also chopped here as well um we need another we need a two tablespoon of um vegetable oil and uh, i would uh, have three quarter of the um, tables teaspoon of the salt you need a uh, slightly salty than usual makes the chicken really tasty all right okay let's do this and uh, heat the two tablespoon of vegetable uh, oil up in the wok and then we add that one teaspoon of minced ginger just for a few seconds and then we add the chicken juice in along with the three quarter teaspoon of the salt okay then bring it to boil right it's boiled and i taste it a it hasn't got the taste I want it so I add a little bit more salt in. Mm, okay, that's fine now, right? Okay, once it's boiled, add the spring onions. Then, if you wish, add a half teaspoon of the chicken powder. If not, that's it. Okay. Turn it down and then pour the juice over the chicken. Beautiful. Leave the chicken to cool down and cool down a little bit and then if you want it cooler, stick it in the fridge. Um, otherwise you can just eat as it is now okay that's our steamed chicken and eat in the summer okay enjoy